you join us on our final leg of the fairy tale route through Germany. We managed to find the lakeside camp spot as the colourful sunset faded to darkness. So from where we camped last night is about 20 metres over there. Across the road and this is the view. There are much worse views to wake up to. This is uh, up there, would you say? Some of the best we've seen. The weather's helping. Again, it's another beautiful day here, but we shan't be staying for long. We're about to jump back in the van and move on. And we can't really make much of the walks around here because we're both feeling the last few days quite a bit. <laughs> I think the Herculean staircase was the, uh, the one, wasn't it? Killer! <laughs> it didn't feel too bad on the day, but now I think we're paying the price. So this spot is on the app, but there's no pictures. So we'll be uploading a few of our own because we think it's a top spot. We left the lake and headed to Alsfeld, a small town that dates back as far as 1222. There are over 400 half timber frame buildings in the town, including the fairy tale like town hall in the Marketplatz, as well as the medieval shackles for fraudulent traders. The area's traditional folk dress is thought to have provided the inspiration for the Red Riding Hood tale. Here you'll find the fairy tale and regional museum. So that was Alsfeld. A um, few bits and pieces to do and see there, but mainly spending money is in cafes that we can't really do too much. So we have found our next spot. It looks like it could be a very nice one. Um, we can get electric and water if we need it there. And there's also possibly free Wi-Fi. So let's go and see. Good morning. We are the last ones left in our little camp spot. It has been pretty full all weekend um, and we've really enjoyed it here, haven't we? Yeah, it's been really good. Not much really happens in Germany on Sundays and Mondays, so that's why we've kind of spent it out the way. And we had an amazing view, which you can't really see today, <laughs> but hopefully we'll put a picture up right now. Yeah, we had the perfect view of the sunset just about there. Unfortunately, it's been a bit overcast, but the first couple of days are really nice and it's just been good to reset your batteries in this free water as well at the moment, at this spot. Yeah, we've got to do that and then we've got to do a little bit of shopping and then we're off to Marburg, which is where Brothers Grimm were educated. So we're in Marburg, we have parked in a spot that we found on park for night. It's just a daytime spot really, I don't think you'd want to stay here and it's 40 cents an hour. So we've paid and displayed and we're here till half past five. So a short walk into the city, I'm hoping it's about 20 minutes, no more. But this city is known for its steep cobbled streets. This is the University Church built in the 13th century. We had navigated our way to the Marketplatz and then made the cobbled descent up to Marburg Castle. Up and up it goes, but uh, I'm sure this will be worth it. The views are starting to open up a little bit, but we're both a bit out of breath. I don't know what's happened to us. Too sedentary. The castle dates back to 1248 and has been built on a hilltop, giving epic views across the expanse of the city below. We trotted back down to explore the rest of the city. St Elizabeth's Church was built between 1235 and 1340 in honour of St Elizabeth of Hungary. The church was an important pilgrimage destination in the late Middle Ages. Here you will also find her tomb. This is the glamorous side of van life that a lot of people don't want to show, you know. When you're sat having lunch in a beautiful uh, car park, 
and you're struggling to get your gherkins open. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to be gherkinless for lunch. No, I won't want them, they're massive! <laughs> you were so happy with the size of it, but now it's uh, betrayed you because it's far too big, isn't it? No one can open it, we've tried to double hand it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! If at first you don't succeed, go and ask another strong man that's more of an adult than you. And me. <laughs> Thankfully the Gherkin saga is over and it's time to go to our next destination. And that is Kaiser Wilhelm Tower. Yes, that's correct. Yes! <laughs> I knew I was going to get one of these places right at some point. It's a 20 minute drive. 15, 20 minute drive says sat nav, so let's go and have a look. Ready, brace, and checking mirrors. That's a first. And putting up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> here we go. So we've just made our way up to the top of the hill and we're at the tower. Um, it was built for the Emperor Wilhelm, would you know? We're gonna go see how much it is to climb to the top of the tower where there's 167 steps. But uh, we've put a budget on it, let's hope we can do it. Explorer and the novice explorers. Come on, let's go see. We climbed the tower for a bargain price of one euro each, including the use of binoculars. You can see Marburg Castle, where we were earlier on. So not bad views from the top of the In three kilometres, take the slip road on the right toward Deason. Bloody sat nav. So not bad views in the end from the top of Kaiser Wilhelm Tower. Not bad for a euro each. We're back in the van and we've got about a half an hour drive until we get roughly in the area that we want to be in. And hopefully we'll, we'll be able to stay there because it'll be getting on for nearly seven o'clock and the nights are very much drawing in at the moment. So we want to get set up. So we missed our initial spots, so we had to drive a little bit further than we intended, but we found a pretty cool spot. Mm -hmm. There's a few signs up that we've had to translate, but none of them seem to say don't camp here. Uh, we're right next to a lake with a lot of ducks on it who are very noisy at the moment and there's a couple of fishermen. It seems pretty cool. The view will be better in the morning, so we'll save it till then. So we'll see you tomorrow morning, Brian Preezy, and we'll show you the view of our camping spot. Night night! Good morning. It's a slightly damp one today, unfortunately. We've got about an hour's drive now, roughly, haven't we? Mm -hmm. And we are going to... Strainu and Strass. Mm -hmm. And that is where the... Brothers lived up to the age of 12. All right. All right. A childhood home. Yep, and this is the second to last. Yes. Second to last stop on the um, fairy tale route, so it's that and then one more and then that's technically the end. We're tidied up and ready, so let's get on the road. Yep. Behind me you'll see a tiny piece of the Roman road that used to stretch all the way to Hamburg. Steino Anderstrasse is a picturesque town on the river Kingsig. The main attraction of the town is the Brothers Home Museum. It cost eight euros, but unfortunately it was closed on the day we visited. You want one go? Mm. Name all of the seven dwarfs. Starting there on the left to the right. Sleepy, happy. Grumpy. Dopey. Can you name any more than that? Huh? This is not about me. <laughs> I don't know. That pass. It's raining again. Time for the Bakamak Tower. I 
do I look? Not look ridiculous. <laughs> it was Quasimodo on the fairy tale route. <laughs> Bring the bells of Notre Dame. <laughs> He's always the one doing the manual labour. <laughs> <laughs> That did off. That did off now. Oh wow. That was a fantastic idea. Help! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! <laughs> Tight <Don't> squeeze breath. <laughs> We're back at the van. It's been a nice day, although very, very wet. We woke up a bit damp, I think. It was a bit one of those groves days. And it's kind of continued to be so, but we had a nice time. Yeah, it's a very small town. Yeah, we saw the sights. You could literally pop in and out if you don't want to see too much of it and don't want a coffee or anything but uh, it was quite nice and we're gonna go and try and find a free camp spot with a shower so we're hoping this spot's all right although you can never guarantee it when it's free and you don't know if the showers are gonna be nice it's got two reviews showers are clean hopefully they're warm because today is a bit just bringing me down <laughs> anyway let's go and hit the road We've arrived at the spot and it isn't too bad, so I think we will make base camp here. I've just got to back in a beautiful Meg there. So, yep, yeah, we're just going to park up the van and uh, see what's going on. So I'm going to see if this machine gives us any electric for 10 cents because we do not use much at all. And I don't really want to put a euro in there if we only use like 20 cents worth. So I'm going to see if 10 cents uh, will give us any. Let's have a look. I'm going for number four. The electric work and the showers were amazing. We returned to this spot a few days later after completing the route. Good morning. As you can see, it's another slightly damp and grey one. Not the end of the world. Today we're travelling to Hanu, which is the birthplace of the Brothers Grimm, and it is just outside of Frankfurt, and it is the last place that we'll be visiting on the fairy tale route. the Brothers Grimm statue so this is where they were born and we've kind of hit it just at the wrong time really because this marketplace that we're in now is normally full of market traders on a Wednesday and a Saturday and the Rattus behind us the Rattus behind us the Rattus behind us is the City Hall as well and that's under construction too so what can we say but it's been a very good end to our trip and to see the Brothers set in bronze Brothers Grimm Monument was surrounded by the modern city and shopping malls. We treated ourselves to a spot of lunch before we explored further. We highly recommend venturing outside the modern city centre. To the southwest, you will find Kesselstadt, with more historical buildings and places of interest such as Schloss Philipsru, an 18th century palace with a posh restaurant and cafe. You can also take a stroll through Stanspark Hanul Willemsbad, a former spa complex, now a spacious landscape park. We walk miles to explore these places outside of the centre, so we recommend using public transport, getting on your bike, or a closer car park. We've really enjoyed travelling the fairy tale route. Uh, the set route has given a structure to our travels. And it's been a really good way to see German landscape, history and architecture all in one nice little concise bubble. Travelling in Flora, our home on wheels, has meant that it's pretty cheap. We've travelled at our own pace, which is pretty relaxed. We see things that are off the beaten track and most of the time the tourists aren't there because we can choose which time of days that we go. Yeah, and as we said earlier, we have enjoyed it. It's been a good route to take. However, we don't think we'd specifically fly out and rent a car to do this um, necessarily. We wanted to make our video as entertaining as possible, but we didn't want to also uh, missell what the route is. Obviously, we've put in fairy tale music and we've tried to 
make it a bit mystical, but that's not necessarily the feeling you get when you're visiting these places. No, we have allowed ourselves a bit of an artistic license and be able to make a nice little video with a bit of a theme. But it's definitely taken us to places we may have otherwise just driven past. Um, yeah. We've seen some cool sites, got some lovely pictures and memories that we'll cherish for quite a long time. Yeah, it took quite a lot of research and I had to pinpoint out exactly where we needed to be and what we needed to see in each city. So it's not set out as if you go here, and then here, then here. You have to really work at it, but yeah. it's been fun. Obviously in part one we mentioned that we were going from north to south because it fits our broader travel plans. However, the traditional way of doing it would be south to north, but we don't particularly think it'd make much of a difference. No, I don't think it does, really. Um, I would say for me, more central part of the route was the better yeah. part. My personal highlight would be uh, just as, well, in Cassel, the Burj Park Wilhelm Shore, um, where we climbed up the steps to Hercules, it was pretty epic, like the view was just unreal. Insane. And I think mine has to be going to see Rapunzel's castle by nightfall. It was quite um, magical, the way it was all lit up. And it's also got us out the van at past seven o'clock at night, which yeah. uh, doesn't happen very often. <laughs> Our favourite camp spot had to be next to Eldersea Lake, which is just outside Bad Well Dungeon. Uh, we could have spent a lot more time there, but decided we were to move on and carry on our little route. But I think we could have spent a fair few nights there chilling out. Yeah, it's definitely one of the more rural that we've experienced. Obviously in Bremen, we were pretty much almost city centre. Mm. Um, it's been a bit of a, a contrast between places we stayed at, but yeah, next to the lake was just stunning. Absolutely stunning. So as always, thank you very much for watching the video. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe. It really does help us out. If you want to keep notified of all our future updates, click the little bell icon down below. Join us next time as we embark on the romantic route through Germany.